Hi, welcome to another computer tutoring training session. This time we're going to look at putting wallpaper on a wall. Uh, I've got my document here. If I click on Photoshop to activate it, you can see I've got my selection already done. Uh, I use the magic wand tool to sort out the selection and I also change the exposure on a couple of them. You can see here on my layers so that it just makes high contrast between the walls and the pictures. In that way it makes it a hell of a lot easier to select uh, different aspects. Uh, if you forget items, say for instance I've forgotten this picture, you can add them to the selection. So as this item is square, I'm going to use the polygon tool. I'm going to select add to selection at the top. I'm then going to hold the alt key down on my uh, keyboard and use the, the mouse wheel. If I roll the mouse wheel or roll away from me, I can zoom in to, onto that section here. That's good. And make sure I've got the add to selection button selected, which I have. I'm then going to... Uh, sorry, I do apologize. This will be removed from selection here. I'm then going to click around the picture as best as I can. Here we go. Notice when I get back where I start, there's a little circle. So I click and you see now this picture is removed from the selection. I hold down the Alt key and roll the wheel towards me. So the wheel on my mouse, I will roll towards me to zoom back so I can see the whole selection. Now, I previously saved this selection as wall, I call it wall, and I'm just needing to add this little picture to it to make my picture look a little bit more accurate. So I'm going to select, I'm going to go down to and click on save selection. In the channel, I'll choose wall, and then the operation is as I'm going to replace the channel because I want to replace the whole lot. So I click on OK. So now that there is wall, I am ready to rock and roll. So next thing, let's choose our pattern here. So I've got a pattern over here, Paisley. You can find this in your drop uh, in your exercise files at the bottom. Now, if you look, I'm just going to deselect and zoom in a bit. This is a pattern just from other. I've had one tile, and I created other tiles from this. Uh, the bigger the pattern, the greater and more accurate it will look. So, I'll give you an idea of how you might do this. I use the crop tool to increase the area of the pattern, like so. I then went back to the move tool, that let me to crop it, went back to the move tool and then holding down the alt key on the keyboard, you see if I hold down the alt key my little mouse pointer turns into a black and a white arrow that allows me to click and drag a copy off. Now I'm using CC so it's aligning it up but with all versions of Photoshop this will work. Now basically what I do is I select this here and if I want to duplicate two layers at once I hold down the shift key and select two layers as you can see over here and then I'll hold down the Alt key again and click and drag down so I don't have to be doing it one layer at a time. However, I don't need to do that, so I'm just going to undo or go back in history, Control, Alt and Z, so I'm back to here. Uh, then I'm going to select all, so select all here, and then that's Control A to select all, and then copy it, Control C to copy. I'm going to swap back to my wall here, and then I'm going to paste in my picture. So it's not no normal paste, you go to Edit, Paste Special, Paste Into, and you see my wall, there you go, my lovely wallpaper there. So nearly done. A couple of things you might have noticed that my exposure here is a little deep. I've done this so it's easier to select the pictures. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide that exposure layer to expose the, or pun, rather, excuse the pun, but to expose the background layer here. Uh, and it looks a little bit stark, a little bit bright, so I want this here to blend in with the background colour of the wall. It just make it look a little bit natural here. So up here where it says normal on the blending mode, just make sure you've got your wallpaper layer selected. In fact, what would be a good idea is to rename that layer. So I'm going to call that one layer wall, wallpaper. And then I'm going to click and choose one. Let's choose darken. You see it's darkened it a little bit. In fact, let's go back and choose multiply. Maybe it looks, there we go. So that looks a little bit more realistic. So there we go, rather a slapdash way of doing it, but you get the idea. You can do the selection, and then to paste in, uh, go to your uh, copy, copy the uh, Paisley wallpaper, and then to paste it in its edits, paste special, paste into. Thanks very much for watching. For more training videos, see www.computertutoring.co.uk.